Well, hello everybody and Happy New Year. If I haven't jumped on here before, I'm not sure. Can't remember. Anyway, I'm just jumping on because I've just received my January doTERRA beautiful box of goodies that I thought I would jump on and tell you what I've got for January and why. Because I simply think that sharing with you um, might give you some ideas and you might have some oil sitting there and just not sure how to use them and they might be in my January box. So I thought I would share this with you. So in my order this month, I have got a trusty peppermint, which I never want to run out of because peppermint is an essential oil that for me, I found extremely cooling. So especially with the weather getting hotter, um, what I do with this is I just drop it in my hands and rub it on my wrists or around the back of my neck or on the soles of my feet and I just find that my if my body overheats then it actually just cools me down so it's actually a fantastic one for helping to regulate your temperature if you're overheating um, in your engine so to speak which is your your body the other way I love to use this is if I'm making my own homemade cacao raw cacao I love peppermint and chocolate I love that mint sort of flavor so that's another way to use it now you're always a good idea to start less is more you can't take it out if you add too much so ways you can do that is either you can use a toothpick and simply put it in the little orifice in the top of the bottle, push it down and then swipe it through um, your chocolate just before you're pouring it into the dish. The other way is if you want, say, a quarter of a drop, these tiny little um, quarter drams, they're called, or the one mil bottles, when you actually drop out of those, when you put the oils in them, you actually are only getting a quarter of a drop. So if a recipe actually you say that you want a quarter of a drop or a half a drop, um, then you would do one drop of these would be a quarter, two would be a half, three would be three quarters, and then four taps of this would equal one drop from a normal bottle. So that's a really good way to just let you know if you're actually using it in food um, as a way to make sure that you're getting less for more. So I love the taste of um, peppermint and my chocolate. So I'm a bit of a foodie. So if I was making my chocolate, me, myself, I probably would like about six to eight drops of that because I really want to taste the peppermint in it. So just have a play around. You know you and you know your family. So uh, this is peppermint oil. Now I also love this for actually any, um, I find it really good for any discomfort. So if you've actually got tension in your shoulders or you've woken up with a kinked neck or something like that, getting your fractionated coconut oil, put it in your hands, put it one to two drops of this and then just massage it on your neck um, around wherever you've got any sore. So localizing is where you use your fractionated coconut oil and then the oils, because that actually means then that it actually goes right down through your skin cells and localize pain. So if I had a sore sho um, shoulder, here am I pointing to my elbow? If I had a sore elbow, I would actually drop this in and then actually rub it on the elbow. So actually put it where the discomfort actually is. This is also fantastic, peppermint is fantastic if you get any head tension. So if I actually had head tension, you know, up in my forehead, I would actually put it along here, or if it's in my hairline, or if it's in this area of my head, if it's on the top of my head, I'm not sure where it is, you can actually just drop it onto the top of your head, or actually even just rub it down the backs of your bones and that where the behind your neck. So just putting it on and then you'll get that sort of um, warming or cooling sort of feeling and it's absolutely fantastic. So I think peppermint is something that I never want to run out of in my home and I absolutely love having it in my rapid response kit. So that's fantastic um, peppermint. So in my order we were getting really low so that's why I've got another one of those um, in my order this week so it's great as I said for anything like that so there's so many uses with peppermint diffused with wild orange and peppermint or uh, rosemary um, rosemary and um, lemon and peppermint are absolutely divine diffused together makes me think that I'm actually the back in my herb garden where I've got my lemon tree and my um, um, rosemary and 
peppermint and mints and things like that. So it's got that beautiful, fresh sort of smell. Also, if you've got ants, I've just thought about it because when I was walking Louis um, the other day up the street, I noticed a hole in the concrete and all these wee ants were coming out of it. So it seems to be a lot of ants around at the moment. Now, ants don't like peppermint. So if you actually can find where they're coming from, just get the peppermint and just put it along there. They won't come out because they do not like it. Do it as a wee um, experiment for yourself. Great to do with the kids if you've got some ants and then just draw circles around them and block them in because they go to go to it and they don't know where to go to get out of it because they can't because there's peppermint right round. So just some fun things to do. So peppermint oil. Um, the other thing I've got is ice blue. So that's actually... These two are a fabulous pair together. So ice blue is great for your muscles and your joints, and it's great for actually any pain. It's got beautiful wintergreen in it and peppermint, and um, it's got uh, chamomile in that in it as well. So just trying to remember off the top of my heart as to what's in it. So it's great for pain. It smells like the rugby room. Um, so it's got that smell of dealing with discomfort. So um Ice blue is fantastic to have. Before you do exercise, you could um, dilute it in your fractionated coconut oil and rub it on your knees or your ankles or around your hips if you get sore hips. Um, so put it on before you do your exercise. Go out and do your exercise and then come back and put it on again afterwards. You'll find that really supportive. So it's um, fantastic. And only can be used um, topically. So diluting it as well is fantastic. But as I see, these two paired together are absolutely fantastic and add frankincense which is free this month if you place a 200 pv order just amplifies everything and takes it up another notch so great powerhouse um, oils there what else have I got? Oh, On Guard. On Guard is, I always make sure, this is also great for getting rid of negative energies in the home. So if you want to diffuse it, if there's any negative feelings in that, put the diffuser on with your On Guard to get rid of that negative energy. So it's the protection blend. So it's going to make sure there's no bugs in your home. And so to speak, that comes in an emotional sense as well as, as, well as a physical sense as well. So I love having this. I actually make my surface cleaner up with um, On Guard in it. So I really love doing that in my 500ml trigger bottle. And it takes 25 drops of that I put in it. And then I put like a 5ml of um, the doTERRA concentrate cleaner. Or you can use uh, liquid castile and then fill it up with water and that's my surface cleaner for cleaning everything around my home. So I don't have a cleaner for this and a cleaner for that and a cleaner for this, etc. I use that one cleaner for cleaning everything. So the bathroom, the kitchen, the way I go around the house with um, my different cloths and things like that. So On Guard is fantastic to have in your home. Also in your rapid response kit because if you get a niggly throat, get your fractionated coconut oil and just rub it on the outside of your throat here. It's one way you can actually use it topically because do a wee experiment. Get the essential oil and just put it on your side of your skin and then you'll find very quickly you can actually taste it in your mouth. So by applying it on the outside topically, you'll find that it's actually going through your skin because it is your largest living organ and we are what we absorb and everything we put on our skin we're absorbing and it's going into our body so on guard's fantastic to have in the home also another way you can use it for that niggly throat is just get a shot glass of water and put a uh, one to two drops in it and gargle it it's fantastic if you've got little ones um also dilute it down if you think that they might be actually um, got sore gums or teeth or something like that, dilute it down first on yourself that you find that it's actually not too hot and you can actually bear it and then dilute it some more and then you can apply it on their gum because it's got fabulous clove in it. So it's cinnamon, clove, rosemary, eucalyptus and um, wild orange. So this used to be called thieves oil many, 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 many years ago and the thieves used to go and steal the soil and the doctors wondered why the thieves weren't getting sick and then they discovered it was actually this oil that they were using instead of wild orange they had lemon google it it's really interesting to read and what they the doctors then did is they made 
um, masks. <laughs> it's a bit like today. They made masks and within the mask they had a cloth and they put this oil on it so they actually didn't get sick. And the masks then were actually shaped like beaks. And that's why doctors got the names of quacks. <laughs> I find stuff like that fantastic. Some fun facts and interesting things to learn. So that is your on guard, a must have in your home. You might make your own hand wash and things like that. So um, fantastic. The other thing that I got in my order is lemon oil. I'm just about getting one of these a month, so I use it in my glass cleaner, like making up my surface cleaner with vinegar and white, um, white vinegar and water, and 25 drops of this. Every morning I put one to two drops in my glass um, of water, and that I'm actually taking my supplements with. Um, another way throughout the day, I might get my tea bag and I put like a, I vary it, but sometimes I'm using lemon and I put um, one to two drops of the lemon oil on my tea bag. You could add ginger if you wanted to as well to have a lemon and ginger tea. Leave it for a minute and then add the hot water to it. Um, so that's another great way. This is also great at night if anyone's got any um, blemishes and things that they want to deal with. So get a drop of that and actually just put it on the blemish. Do it at night though, because remember your citrus oils are photosensitive. So um, it's a good idea to use them at night, not actually during the day. Just another wee thing too, so you can know about the purity of these oils. Remember you can put that batch number in a website called www.source to you. That's source, S O U R C E T O Y O U dot com, and you can get the quality report. It's so amazing, it's so transparent. This company is absolutely incredible. Um, and they are not using anything that they wouldn't put on themselves and for their own health and wellness, and that's why it all came about. So, pursuing what's pure. Not cutting any corners, no coyotes or middlemen that are actually marking up and making any money out of it. So lemon oil, so many different uses for it. It's absolutely fantastic. As I said in the diffuser with your peppermint and your rosemary, um, you could do it like a citrus blend, like lemon and grapefruit and tangerine, um, which is beautiful in your diffuser as well. Just some lovely sort of ideas for something light and lifting and up re um, refreshing. So, lemon oil, it's fantastic. And in your washing machine, oh yes, and I make my own dishwasher powder. So I put lemon and lime in it. I love that as a combination. And also I make my own um, finish, you know, like that product that you put in your dishwasher for afterwards and helping with the drying and things like that. So I do that with the On Guard Concentrate Cleaner, vinegar, water, and lemon oil, where you would put the finished product. And of course, my own homemade dishwasher powder, which is fantastic. Um, so cleansing and clearing, and also that goes for you as well in your body. Um, the other thing I've got is oh, Douglas fir, New Zealand, sourced from New Zealand, the back of Queenstown. I just love the smell of this. And dearest Kim made and gave all her clients that she does hairdressing for a beautiful um, blend for um, my hubby Mark. And this has got, this is his man fume. This has got Douglas fir, sandalwood, patchouli, and whisper. And I love it. And I made it up for my son Taylor as well. Oh my God. That is so divine. It's beautiful. And just with that Douglas fir in it, Mark, many men, Mark loves his patchouli that he puts in his moisturizer that he's putting in his skin every day. Whisper is... It's amazing, it's the woman's blend, but it is absolutely beautiful combination of oils and sandalwood, which is very earthing and grounding. I wish there was th this was 4D. You want to smell? It's it absolutely divine. Oh, my God, it makes amazing man fume. I just love it. it makes, oh, come here, come here, let me smell you. So beautiful. So that's a gorgeous combination. Douglas fir, sandalwood, patchouli, and whisper for your man fume, or even for yourself. Oh, so beautiful. So I was out of, because I made it for Taylor as well, also for my beautiful um, son-in-law, Ben, um, that I sent down. And uh, so Douglas fir, that's why I got it in my order, so to have it there. And gorgeous in your diffuser as well. If you get stuck for ideas for diffusing, just pick some oils out and hold them together like a bouquet of flowers. 
and just have a smell. And if there's one that you want less of, what you actually do is just drop it down a bit and then you might put, and say, two drops of each of those and one drop of that one there. So less of that one there. Or you might think, oh, that's two, and you might drop them down three different levels and have, say, three drops of one, two drops of the other, and one drop of the other one. So just going by intuition and smelling it like a bouquet. Another beautiful way, as I loved um, Vanessa um, taught, is when you actually hold the oils, hold it up to here, and breathe deeply with the, with the lid off, of course. And if you can still smell it, that means that, that your senses are quite sensitive to that smell. So drop it down even lower and see if you can still smell it doing deep breaths and go even lower down to your navel and smell. If you can still smell it while it's way down here and low, that means that your body is responding to that oil. So you could actually have less of it. So maybe one drop of that. If you find that up here, you're struggling to smell it. it. means that it's light, so you can actually add more drops of it. So that's just a, a little hint for you as to how many drops should I put in of these oils. So that's why they never recommend how many drops because our bodies are all different and we respond differently to them. So it's just actually playing around a wee bit. I thought that was a really great tip. Um, now, the product of the month, if your loyalty rewards is over 125 points, is lemon eucalyptus. Now, it doesn't mean that it's lemon and eucalyptus. It's a variety of eucalyptus. I learned that there's over 200 varieties of eucalyptus. So this here is a beautiful blend. It's a really uplifting. Directions of use, it is for aromatic use. Um, and add um, a few drops to your diffuser. So I love this. See this little pod in doTERRA's um, special office for Christmas. They had this Banksia pod here. Isn't it cute? And I've got this sitting on the top of my toilet system. And I actually drop, I've got in here, the oil. So I put, say, about five, six, seven drops of the oils in here. And it actually all filters and disperses the smell out of all those little holes within this beautiful natural Banksia pot. Absolutely divine. So that's on my toilet. I also love this in my, it's so fresh and uplifting when I make my um, air freshener for the toilet. So you can get, put witch hazel. So in a, say, a 30 or 50 ml spritzer bottle, you can put like a um, five mils of, witch hazel, which is a, like a, a natural alcohol. You could actually use vodka if you want to, which is alcohol. And, or you can actually use like isopropyl, which is a rubbing alcohol, which is a natural one that's been used for ages in surgical settings and things like that. So you can put like five mils of that and then you add your essential oils into it and then fill it up with water. Why you put that disperser in, it just means that it, the oils get in, um, immersed within that, and when you're actually spraying it out, they're coming out evenly rather than just the oil and water because then they're just going to sit on top. If you've um, done that wet experience, they're just going to sit on top of it and not disperse. And when you spray it, you want it to disperse eas easily and evenly into the, into the room. So I love this one for in the toilet spray. Beautiful, fresh, uplifting. Even in your wash, you know, you can put it into your wash like your clothes and things like that for so many uses, isn't it? It's just incredible and it's just playing around and thinking what you use in your home and uh, what you can use differently and just maybe getting an oil out each week. Um, I'm saying to some of my um, beautiful team members, pull out an oil each week and, and text it to me and I'll give you some ideas for uses to use that. So uh, just, it's all about learning and inspiring and that's what I love doing. I just love helping you to fall in love with these most incredible gifts of the earth, which are doing so much for me and using them at home. I just absolutely love them. I couldn't be happier. So that's what I've actually purchased. Not all that I've purchased. Um, I got some Copaiba soft gels. Now, doing my continuing education classes, if you get a real thumper of a headache, I learned from this beautiful advocate in its training to get your uh, frankincense, put it on your thumb, hold it on the soft palate of the back of your mouth, 
for 20 seconds and then take four of these all at once and boom if you're getting a migraine or something like that boom and I got Mark to do that and he found it amazing if I find that I'm getting a thumper of a headache I do that so that's something that I do but um, these Copaiba soft gels are absolutely amazing and as my book says they are extracted from mature trees between 30 to 50 years of age and considered the most anti-inflammatory substances on the earth. So they actually go up in the Amazon, where this is actually um, sourced from, and they go and tap the trees like tapping maple syrup, and it just runs. And whatever the tree is going to give them is whatever they're going to get. So if they only get like a jar with just a little bit of the tree and that's all that comes out, that's all they get with the yield. So, And that then is goes and distilled, and actually, so there's nothing added, nothing taken away. It's just what they get is what they get. So that's why sometimes when you'll see some of the oils when you're ordering in your back office, it might have a limited stock where you're only allowed one of that for the month. And that's just making sure that there's enough, enough to go around. So these here are absolutely fabulous to have in our home and in our first aid rapid response kit. Um, the other thing that I got, oh, my free frankincense. Don't you love December and January up to the, only the 15th though for 200 PV order? You get a free, that's a good time to stock up on your frankincense. Um, and this amplifies everything. If you got stuck on an island and you could only take one oil, frankincense would be the one to take. Great for mood, great for your skin. I actually make my own facial serum and I put in a 15 ml dropper, half apricot kernel oil, half um, almond oil, a couple of drops of vitamin E, dash of fractionated coconut oil, and I put two drops of frankincense, one drop of copaiba, one drop of blue tansy, and one drop of geranium. And every night, I use that as my, after I've done my cleansing regime with doTERRA's beautiful essential skincare, um, I then put two drops of that, and because of the blue tansy, it's blue, and I put it all over. I don't end up like a smurf because it's actually dispersed within those other beautiful carrier oils, and I use that as my night cream over my face. Then in the morning, when I put my moisturiser in, I actually put a couple of drops of that and add that to my moisturiser. And I'm 60 this year, and I feel my skin soft like a baby. Just love it. So frankincense is a key one. And if you're adding it to that topical pain with your ice blue and your peppermint, it's going to amplify it. And this is an incredible oil. And on PubMed, there is so much research about frankincense. Take a look for yourself. Uh, I got some On Guard foaming hand wash because that's for Mark for his office. So he said, could I order him one of these? So um, when I'm filling up the... Um, the pump for this, I suggest because it's concentrated that you know fill it up with like a a, um, a quarter of the you know like the bottle and then just fill up the water the rest with water because it is concentrated. So that's amazing, amazing, beautiful um, hand wash with the on guard products in it. So really good for antiseptic and cleaning. Now, for myself, for the hand wash, I thought I would try this one, which is on for the Christmas special. And I think it's still available. Um, not sure if to check that out. It was when I did my order last week. Um, the Citrus Bloom. This is absolutely gorgeous. So this is um, the foaming hand wash. This was bought out. Um, Citrus Bloom was bought out the essential oil as a Mother's Day special with the diffuser uh, last year or the year before. And it is absolutely divine. So it's got your beautiful flower oils and your also your citrus oils together. So it's a gorgeous. So I thought I'd try it in the hand wash, which it came with the dispenser. And because it was a Christmas special, it came with the Citrus Bloom Hand and Body Lotion. So I'm looking forward to giving that a try. Now, I was intrigued with these cuisine blends that are actually out. So 
I thought I would get them. So these are the cooking collection. And I'm a bit of a foodie and I love cooking. So I thought, ah, I'm intrigued. I'm going to give these a go. So you've got in here Italian. So in the Italian blend, this is actually a good idea with these is to start less when you're cooking because you can add more. So you might want to start with the toothpick. You might want to start by getting yourself one of these quarter drams, one wee rolls and put it in.